Everybody loves assassins. <laughs> Bits. <laughs> Welcome back, hobby maniacs. I'm Rob Bear from SpikyBits.com, and today we're looking at more assassins. I know we, we show you assassins quite a bit here from a bunch of different companies out there. Uh, we had been reviewing stuff for uh, Heresy Lab, I guess for about the last five years, off and on. They they purchase some ads for some of their Kickstarters, which they which they do quite a bit, uh, and those are always worth checking out because they go to great lengths to actually fulfill uh, all the Kickstarters they've done and their sculptors have actually done their, their own Kickstarter, one of which I think is up or about to go up here uh, coming in February, which it may be February right now as you're seeing this. Oh, big secret, we work ahead of time. <laughs> <laughs> so long story short, uh, they sent us over a whole bunch of their miniatures. They're basically one of each of their existing line. And I'm like, oh, Lord, <laughs> this is a lot of minis. We took some time and put uh, pretty much everything together. And I was just kind of picking through it. And I was like, what do we talk about? And I was like, oh, I remember they, they did assassins that were pretty dope. Let's start there. So, so today I've got their, their four assassins that they actually did a Kickstarter for, I want to say last year or so, give or take. But it, it's, it's the thing that's featured right on their website. So it, it'll be very hard to miss if you go over to heresylab.com and to check out all the miniatures they have, you'll see the assassins uh, right at the top. And I think they're great. And we'll show them to you uh, compared to some of the GW ones out there. And you can decide which, which ones are for you. So here's their site. It's heresylab.com. And it looks like they have a sale going right now. So they got a thousand likes uh, to get 25% off valid through the 31st of January. Now something tells me it's not January anymore by the time you see this video. So definitely go over to their site and see if there is uh, another discount code perhaps or be like, hey, I saw that Spiky Bits video. Can I get that deal? I don't know. Maybe. What's the worst they can do? Say no. <laughs> I feel like that is the worst they can do. So like I said, right at the top of the page here, um, the last stuff they added to the catalog, which is the four assassins, which I think are pretty neat. And I'm going to show you those raw and uncut. And then they've got a lot more stuff and you can kind of dig through and they've got squads. Um, and it's easier to kind of dig through the, the tabs up here to kind of find everything. And yes, they do have a Kickstarter uh, that should be up right about this time as you're seeing this video here. So we're gonna jump over to one of these products. So you can add it to a cart, quick add to the cart, or just click here. But you know, let's look at the prices real quick. So 25% off something that's like 16 and then this one over here is uh, $13. I mean, that's already well below the price of, you know, a similar Games Workshop miniature, of course. That stuff's made out of a different material. You know, all the assassins are plastic now, but I, I want to say they go for like 35 bucks. So I feel like already um, definitely ahead of the curve here. So we're going to compare and contrast how big uh, they are when it comes to that. Now let's click on one of these and here you can kind of see the product page. Now the sculpts or the, the pictures rather are the computer generated design uh, for these miniatures. So you're not going to get on their site at least a, a clear look at the quality of the miniatures. And that's why I'm going to show you this stuff over here. Uh, finely cast uh, resin 28 millimeter figures from heresy lab they're you know the normal assassin scale i'll show you that here in a second uh shipping you know it, it's about two weeks from them they're shipping out of italy uh the shipping rate isn't that bad it was like seven dollars i think when i added something to the cart for one miniature so you so you'd be looking at around 22 dollars ish if there wasn't a sale for one of these models so i feel like I mean, you know you want to hedge your bets there and probably buy a couple of things and then um uh, lock it in as you can see from the currency rate they don't ding you on uh, arbitrage or anything like that and jack up the rates so you're gonna have a good return on uh, your currency wherever you are and then there's some related products down here at the bottom now eventually we'll get to showing you all of these miniatures here because like I said uh, unless you go over to their Facebook page there's not a whole lot of uh, actual miniature pictures just the computer sculpts on here which is fine but you know you, you want to make sure you're like yo what do, what do they actually look like I've seen computer sculpts before but then you gotta get the mini into your own hand here. And then here's uh, the cart once you add it. And like I said, it's about $7 uh, for shipping right there. So not, not too bad on that, that price now, I don't feel like. But the thing that you're probably, and I'm obviously probably most interested in, is the actual quality of the miniature. So the pricing looks right, you know, and there's a wide selection. There's about 100 minis or so over there in, in total, which <laughs> we have the majority of here uh, to show you over a series of videos, hopefully. Um, you know, what's it going to look like when it gets to you? So first of all, most of this stuff comes in a blister pack. Now, I'm not sure about the Kickstarter. I never got anything off their Kickstarter before. 
but uh, we've done some promos and you know it seems like for the most part nobody has anything bad to say about them which is always good and you know uh, just a side note if, if you ever back something that we talk about or you purchase from a, a, a manufacturer or, uh, some sort of studio or something that that we that we showed you here and you don't you run into a problem with them you know hit me up send me a facebook message send, send us an email support it spiky bits whatever and, and we'll see what we can do to you know make it right because um i, I don't like talking about people's stuff if uh, if they're not going to do right by the customers and we've had a couple instances where we've helped folks uh get some resolution on things but we've also had a couple of instances where folks try to play us uh, against <laughs> the company so it's you know we're not stupid obviously <laughs> we, we might have been born at night but we weren't born last night so the miniatures if you purchase off their site are probably going to come in this blister pack which is good for shipping and, and such and once you open them up they're going to come uh, it's somewhat in pieces now i'm not going to open this one up here this is one of their uh, i think the commissar uh ladies oh no this is one of the sisters that they did so there's going to be some parts but not but it's not super multi-part or anything like that it's mostly kind of set in stone and you're going to have a base right there um most of them are slaughtered but not that big of a deal to be quite honest so you're going to have to do a little bit of assembly and a little bit of cleanup but for the most part pretty well protected and going to come in some sort of packaging so first up is the female assassin that's the name of this one right here obviously very close to a vindicare uh perched on top of a sniper roost right here that's uh you know pretty pretty uh grim darky i suppose with some uh, some shells been firing a lot of shots probably time to <laughs> reposition or well, those are uh i can't tell if those are ready to get loaded either way um precarious at best a uh, little candles back there and lots of gear and uh, stabby stabs on the front uh, boot right there now this is a female i don't know if i could show you but this is a female minister and you can kind of see some of the parts right there but you know overall pretty um pretty good quality for sure you know uh, a lot of times it's very hard to tell from the sculpts now it's a lighter material than the sculpts and the sculpts have shadow and the computer pictures that i showed you there but i think overall you know the detail is uh, very very well done on here um nothing less than what you would expect from something like a uh, resin uh, boutique miniature cast, or even something in plastic. I feel like it's uh, it's definitely above all uh, plastic detail as well. And we'll compare the size here in a minute. Now these are gonna come with 25 mil bases, but we put them on 32s and I actually had to use a 40 here uh, <laughs> because uh, we ran out of 32 mil bases, but either way. So here's, um, ooh, get a little cat hair right there. Here's the, uh, which one is this called? This is called Entropy. So it's basically the, uh, Caluxus Assassin, the not Caluxus Assassin. You can kind of see where some of the parts are right there. Um, so the arm, and then it was a couple of uh, the stand parts right here. But again, another really cool looking Grimdark um, base. Some candles, candles seem to be their thing for sure. And uh, the head was a separate piece as well, but very well done. Um, I feel like it might be getting a little blurred out by the lighting here, but uh, I'm pretty happy with this, with the detail level on this. Let's see if we can get yeah, it's hard. It's a very light material. It's hard to show all the detail, but there's definitely detail there. And like I said, I think it's um, I think it's just as good as, uh, if not better than, well, definitely better than plastic miniatures. Now you are gonna have to do a little bit of trim work. You can kind of see there. You're gonna have to kind of tighten that up with the blade. I didn't do a whole lot of uh, post work on this. Just kind of glued it together just to show you uh, some of the gaps and some of, some of the places where uh, it would be assembled, and then show you some of the sizing and things. Uh, next up is, what is this, Je Jezra? Jezra. So I guess this is the not Calidus, and she's jumping off from the top rope. <laughs> WWE Summer Slam Assassin Edition right there. You can tell that the two arms are definitely separate, and she is, um, she's angry. Her mad. Her very, very mad. She's about to put the, uh, put the beat down on somebody right there. Again, the material's pretty light, but the detail is not soft at all. It's, uh, it's very, very well done. Um kind of hard to show in this but uh, I feel like all the lighting and everything's good but it is what it is sometimes it's just the, the way that the camera captures things here and last but certainly not least oh actually that was Jezra that was the Subverta so this is Jezra and this is the uh, not Eversor I suppose and this actually came with a separate separate head but I can't really tell I think it might just been an accident they look the same but there might be an alternate head in there uh, if you do get one, well, oh yeah, I guess it is greening a little bit more. So there is two heads here. So the heads, um, I think the head, I don't know. There's something about the head, like maybe because it's a lady, it's a little bit smaller, but it seems, a little, oh, I guess from that angle, it looks good. It just, it just seemed a little weird right there. But posing is pretty good. Besides that, doing a little Spider-Man, kind of getting ready to leap, leap down 
nice crisp uh, details on the terrain wall right there and you can kind of see where some of the parts go together now again you are going to have to do a little bit of work there so be super careful those are really really tiny little parts um maybe have to heat them up a little bit and kind of uh, chisel them out but uh, might be a little little precarious at best but uh, other than that everything else uh, on here looks good uh, for sure. Now let's compare them. Remember, this is a 40 mil base, so I didn't have uh, 25. So let's compare them to uh, some normal stuff. Like here's uh, Deathcore Creek, Creeksman right here. Now they're already a little bit smaller because they're kind of from Forge World, so that's probably not a super fair comparison. Here's an Evasaur, which is probably more on par uh, comparison wise. And uh, yeah, it definitely looks checks out. This is uh, very very close to the appropriate size, uh, I would imagine, for uh, a female of the uh, Evasaur series right there. And here's uh, the, which one was this? Subverter with the Calidus Assassin right here. So quite not quite as tall though. I suppose you could glue her down up here if you really wanted to get that get that profile if that was super important to you. Sometimes when I'm playing in 40K and I, I don't have the model the exact size, I'm like, hey, if you can see, you know, up here, you know, you got an inch of leeway right there. Just, you know, be respectable with your opponents. Um, don't play a whole lot of competitive tournaments anymore. Oh man, I just, okay. Uh, but you know, that being said, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's just, it's easy to just talk things out with your opponents and you don't want to waste each other's time. And then here's the Caluxus assassin. Very, very cool. Uh, definitely about the same size, but a little bit taller. So again, that could work against you. So you got to talk it out with your opponent sometimes, which like I said, shouldn't be a big deal. And last, but certainly not least is the female assassin. So size wise and stature probably right but it is a little bit taller i guess it's not i guess it's not in theory taller because the barrel of the gun would be up to there and remember there's a pillar actually on this model that we didn't assemble on uh, on mine so that might be a pretty good approximation give or take of that right there so that's is pretty much it for the Heresy Lab uh, Assassin lineup. Like I said, pretty affordable, pretty well detailed. Uh, gets you in about two weeks, give or take. So, you know, if you're having a hard time finding the plastic ones from Games Workshop or you just don't feel like paying those prices, well, hey, this might be a great affordable counts as alternative for you. So check them out over at heresylab.com and be sure to hit them up about a discount that, they, uh, that I just showed you on their page right there. Thank you very much for watching this video. Make sure to hit that subscription button and turn on notifications so you can be the very first to like and comment on all our videos.